Gotta Be Real Movie Reviews with Tommy Hello. and Jules. And right now, we're doing a classic. See if you know Good old, see, good wait, old wait, classic. See if you know what this is. Mama, mama, you know I, I love, love you. Who was that? Who was hitting them notes like that? Was that you me? Was that Mariah? I love you. <laughs> you also have some real bad notes in there. It was probably me. <laughs> You're that person um, karaoke. They'll be like, "Can I get an extra mic?" Yes, that is me. I'll be like, "Get off my phone!" I'm you? like, "I'm gonna come help you." I am. I am I mean, that person. I didn't mind the harmonies there, but I'm just saying. You know? I would have got the mic and help you out there. You know, with my Whitney Mariah vocals. But anyhow, that's a different show. Let's talk about the classic Soul Food. Who, requ Soul Who requested this? From 1997. Yes, one of our YouTube um, viewers requested this. Yes. Uh, what is his name? Gunnel Gamey. There we go. Gunnel Gamey, thank you very much for requesting this. Yes, <laughs> hope we did. Thank you for requesting this because I hadn't seen this in a very, 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 very long time. And there are some things in here that are so relevant right now. Mm -hmm. So, Jules, tell us who is in Soul Food. Lots of black star power. <laughs> All right, so Soul Food is rated R, but mm -hmm. it's rated R from 1997. Yeah. Because 2021, you could just see that on TV, most of it. <laughs> anyway. <Yeah. laughs> it stars Vanessa Williams, mm -hmm. Vivica A. Fox, Mia Long, Michael Beach, Makai mm -hmm. Pfeiffer, Brandon Hammond, he's Ooh. he's the little boy. Mm -hmm. He's not a little boy no more because that was twenty. I've seen him in other ago. movies too. So yeah. Jeffrey D. Sams, mm -hmm. Gina Rivera, Irma P. Hall. She plays the grandma, the, mm -hmm. the matriarch. Mm -hmm. Mel Jackson, and Carl Wright. Oh, so many stars in here. We got Melinda in here too, right? The one that used to be married to Mackay Pfeiffer. Yeah. Okay. All right, so give us a breakdown. If somebody hasn't seen Soul Food yet, if you're watching this, haven't seen it, let's give them just a little bit of breakdown. So we want you to see this one. This is really a good, strong family movie, and we think you should see this if you haven't. Wait, no, Melinda's not in here. I don't oh, know Melinda's not in there? Mm -mm. I think you're thinking of Mia Long. Mm, okay. Well, that was Makai Pfeiffer's ex-wife was, Melinda, but okay. Okay. Uh, she, I think she was in the TV show version. Maybe that's it, because I know for yep. a fact she was in She did. Uh, she played Soul it Food. on the cable series. Okay, that's okay. why. And she yeah. used to be married to Makai Pfeiffer, who yeah. was in the original. Yes. So I knew Mia it wasn't Mom crazy. She played Bird in okay. the movie. She played Bird on the TV series. Okay, I knew it wasn't crazy. Okay. <laughs> I'm a G when it comes to Sorry. this stuff. We digress. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. <laughs> right. Sorry, <I> <laughs> All right, so... Soul Food is about the matriarch, Mama Jo. She's mm -hmm. hospitalized. And she's hospitalized with complications from diabetes and tension started in the family. Mama Jo's grandson, Ahmad, cooks up a scheme to bring the family together back to the table for Sunday dinner. Because they always had Sunday dinner when mm -hmm. she was around. Mm -hmm. But after she was in the when she was in the hospital, the family just kind of... It started breaking apart, breaking apart. little by little by little. Mm -hmm. And what I love about this is I've said it a thousand times. You can go pick somebody else that'll say it another thousand. It seems like with this generation in particular, once we've lost the grandmother or the mm -hmm. grandparents, the family just seems to disperse and not really... I don't know, value yeah. family time together. I'm not going to say they don't care, but they don't value it anymore. You don't have the strong structure. Right. You know, nobody gets together for Sunday dinners anymore. Um, yeah. Somebody might plan something for two months. Half the family might come. You don't know. It right. wasn't like that with the grandparents. Every We went to grandparents' house on Sunday. We got off our church clothes. We put on our play clothes. Right. We went to play. All the adults cooked. That was it. Our cousins, our family was everything. And it's just not like that anymore. And it's kind of heartbreaking. Yeah. And that's what this was about. Once the matriarch is gone, come, somebody has to pick it up. We, we can't just let, let it drop off like that. It was a lot of work. That good family like that and food is what brings us together. That's yeah, almost in any culture. Cook, <laughs> we like, wait, who, who we know it? which ones in the family I can't mean, cook. We've made whole movies <laughs> about that stuff. Like there's a movie called Who Made the Potato Salad? Hey. Not everybody can make potato salad. We know okay? who to ask to bring what. <laughs> right. Right? You're gonna bring So we know Ann over here cannot make no potato so salad. Is. So she is bringing you know pre package. We know. Right. We know our you know our Aunt Carol over here, she's bomb on the dressing and the macaroni and cheese, so we're gonna have her make that. Yeah. We know who can cook. Some people can't even <laughs> make Kool-Aid. So you just bring the packages. You okay? just bring the packages of little huggies 
And we won't make it. Don't worry about it. Cause <laughs> you good, girl. You good. Yeah, yeah we know that. We yeah. know that. Some people just got to bring the utensils. Yeah, that, that's know. it. As long as you're there, though, at that table just, was the most yourself. important thing. Yes. We it was, it was a family. You. It was about family. You don't family. need to bring nothing. Yes. You just bring yourself. And then it was in a, it got to where families get into other people's business. Um, some of the family is who betraying their other family in the absolute worst way. Yeah, yeah. So you see the whole bit of it just crumbling down and crumbling. Yeah. And Infidelity. Oh gosh, with your other family. I mean, and the uh, kids are seeing this because the kid, mm-hmm. the little boy, is narrating it. He yes, sees everything that's going on. He knows stuff is not good. Mm-hmm. It's not right. And it's face, uh, crazy because once we had seen this movie, like all the food that they had, oh, I mean, gosh. they got catfish, greens, dressing, turkey, chicken. But And one thing me and my cousins, I don't know how you're going to do it. <laughs> then you're going to do it. <laughs> that should have been in song. We should have put that song back then. <laughs> and it, cause, I mean, it, it literally was, it wasn't like only things that matched, like trick chicken, dressing, potato salad, cornbread. It was everything. So one day me and my cousin said, Let, let's do that. Let's do a soul food thing. So we went out and just bought all this. All kinds, and just had a, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we, we invited a couple of our family members, but of course, you know, it was just a thing that we wanted to do because we thought it looked fun and it would be fun to do. And so we did. Mm-hmm. But this movie, um, yeah, it breaks down how the family structure works when the matriarch is gone. Um, how sometimes some of your family members, you may have to just treat them. You love them treat them with a long handled spoon for your own sanity mm-hmm. and that's what this movie is about it's really heartfelt yes it is very very hard. i didn't watch the series because once i see the movie of something i kind of want to especially this one because it's a classic i kind of remember yeah. seeing maybe a couple of episodes mm-hmm. of it but i don't remember just watching it regularly yeah I, yeah I, I i'm with the movie i don't ever want to see a part two any of that i want the cast leave it leave it alone don't touch it we don't need to do anything with that because well, it's just such a good Well, you know that they're remaking one. it. Just kidding. Uh, just kidding. Now you didn't make our blood pressure go up for no know. reason. I was just teasing her. It better not. <laughs> don't do it. Hey, so back then, you know, there's only a certain amount of black stars that were really getting mm-hmm. shine. So right. Jeffrey D. Sams, Michael Beach, and Brandon Hammond, they, they were also in Waiting to Excel. You will not like Michael Beach this movie i'm telling you after i seen him in this movie no matter what he was in i wanted to choke the life out of his body all because of this character from soul food i just can't help it and also the girl that played her cousin faith as well i've seen her in a few things she was on um you're an actress you know it's not real that's not their real life no i, I can't help it go. i'm, I'm uh, i do that with some characters i can't I think negan them, I, think, I can't watch anything with negan them. Because of him on The Walking Dead. I can he's face. a sweet guy, too. Right? No, he's not a sweet guy on The Walking Dead. If you watch Talking Dead, you'll see that he's a sweet guy. Whatever. He's, he's, he's nice. Negan. When I see his face, it's Negan. Plus, and I remember what he did to Glenn. Negan is nice now, too. We are supposed no, to I'm, forget about yeah, what he But did you know what? Glenn. Forget about What it. they said, what they do. Look, don't try to make me empathize with him by telling me his story in the beginning. I don't care because he did some vile stuff. What he did to Glenn and them. Okay, I, no. okay, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Soul see. food. Soul okay, food. about the soul food. I don't like Michael Beach. <laughs> just because of his face, but he's a great actor. I'm just kidding. But every time I see his face, that's the first thing I think of. And there's a pretty graphic sex scene in here. So your kids, you don't want them to see that part? Yes. Fast forward. That would be the only yeah, part that they, if they're showing yeah. it on TV that they would mm. cut out. Yeah. Or fast forward through. But other than that, it's a good it's a good story. You'll see all the family members. Everybody has different personalities and where they fit in, what they think they can do. And whatnot, and this, I'm telling you, when you see it, you could pick out every one of those people in your family. There's the bougie one. There's a troublemaker. There's the one you don't want to leave around your boyfriend. Oh, and there's grandma and auntie, and they're so sweet. They can cook so good. It's all of that. You're gonna get all of those feels in this movie. Yes, you are. Mm-hmm. And you need to let the Michael Beach thing. Go. Yes, I am. Yeah. All right, I'm, 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 I'm let it go. Twenty-four years. I'm, 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 I'm let it go. Okay. <laughs> but gonna uh, thank you very much for recommending this film again. It, it felt thank good you. to watch it again. It really did. Yeah. So thank you very much for tuning in to our review of the classic soul food. Don't forget, we are on YouTube. We are on Instagram. We are on Facebook. Like, subscribe, like, subscribe, like, subscribe, do it, it, and we'll see you again. (laughs) There you go. Thank you. All right, see you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye.